Hi everyone, you're watching Kamloops Trout and tonight we're going to be tying up some Velvet Revolver Chronomids. It's a favorite in my fly box, a uh, very good producer for the interior still waters of BC. So I'm going to start now by tying um, some UTC 70 thread on this size 16 2X long uh, curved nymph hook with a 564 black metallic bead and I'm using a very thin strand of white cotton yarn for my gill material uh, tie in front of that just to push those gills up away from the hook eye and let's tie back forward I like to leave a little bit of thread in behind where the beads behind where the beads gonna sit uh, just to ensure a little bit of extra security once I push that forward I'll continue tying back onto the uh, the thread that was left behind so I'll just cut my gills basically flush with the front of that bead there and put my thread back in And for our first uh, material we're going to be tying in, we're going to be using some wine hollow tinsel made by UTC. And I really love the color of this wine. It's, uh, uh, I prefer it over using red holographic. Just the look of it. Um, really looks awesome in my opinion so I'll tie that in and our next material we're going to be using I've got a thin strip of uh, anti-static bag material that I've cut to about 1 32nd of an inch or so tie that in next to the hollow tinsel wrap back forward and our final material I'm gonna tie in is some extra small red ultra wire has to be extra small or it really doesn't serve its purpose in this fly now I'll just pull everything back and slowly work back making sure everything's running nice and smooth and I'll stop right about there just before the bend at the back of the fly and come back forward making sure everything's nice and tight I've built up a very slender um, taper at the front of the fly with those three materials we tied in. I'll just half hitch that to keep it out of my way. And now I'm gonna wind forward towards myself with some with the wine hollow tinsel. Trying to make sure that we don't leave any gaps in between the material showing that thread in behind. It also um, not just hides the thread that we don't want to see but by overlapping each wrap it creates a nice smooth body transition for when we come forward with our next material so this is going to be the ribbing very similar to the Iron Man style flies that I like to tie I'm not sure it's hard to see but I think I had a little bit of thread showing there. I don't like seeing thread in between uh, wraps of tinsel. It's a little pet peeve of mine. Even though it's so small to my eye, I could probably miss it, not even know, but I'll see it in pictures or I'll see it in the video. So there, now that I've got that all the way to the bead, I'll just come forward, locking that off. And nice and tight. 
Now for the somewhat trickier part of this fly. We're just going to put our thread forward and I'm going to try and wrap forward with the ASB and try to use very thin ASB for this pattern because it likes to bleed through that holographic shimmer. But when I wrap forward I'm shooting for six to eight segmentation so I've got one, two, there's three, four, five, six. Oh. It can be tricky trying to make them all perfectly even. And with any bit of tape or with tinsel on tinsel, it also likes to tend to want to slip sometimes. So I've just got that kind of held in. Now before I commit to anything I want to turn it and make sure that each side's looking relatively even and it is so I'll just do a half hitch on that just to hold that in place and now we'll cut that anti-static bag off oh kind of shaky tonight so I've got that in and now, finally, just to make those segments really pop, I like to uh, run this very fine ultra wire on the back of each segment, just on top of the uh, anti-static bag. Hold it all in there and it actually kind of helps create that three-dimensional look as the anti-static bag's a little bit thinner, not as bulky as mylar or window tinting. As this is essentially an Iron Man variant fly. So now that I got that all wrapped forward, I can just lock that in actually I'm gonna go back a step because I don't like how that wire was uh, had an extra extra rib at the front I wasn't too happy with so there I'll, I'll just hold that off there And then we'll just break that out. Have a nice little whip finish. And cut her off as closely to the fly as we can. Maybe trim those gills just a hair more. So I've kind of switched off of using Sally Hansen's quite a bit lately. I'm now using Bone Dry by uh, Solar Res. But for a fly like this where the, the segments really pop, I, I encourage you not to go overboard as it will kind of take away from those heat, that segmentation on the fly. Let's see a little piece of Tinsel I kind of missed a uh, wire. Maybe I can just push it in with my nail. There we go. Go back to my UV resin here. Try and brush a lot of that off because it can come on quite thick. So this fly is going to be up on my new website I'm putting out, Kamloops Trout. Please uh, look out for it and show your support by uh, looking me up on Facebook and Instagram. That's Kamloops Trout. Thanks to everybody else that has uh, been supportive in everything else in the past. It's been greatly appreciated. And... 
if you uh, have time to tie up some of these before ice off I guarantee you you will uh, not regret it they're uh, very productive pattern to use and have worked well for me so there you have it the velvet revolver uh, velvet revolver chronomid thanks for watching cheers tight lines